I'm John Wildey. We farm east of San Angelo, east of Goodfell Air Force Base on Loop 306. We've lived here about 35 years. Uh, we've got dry land and irrigated, furrow irrigated and drip irrigated. We have a family farm and Doug and Matt joined my wife, Betty Jo, in the farming operation. Uh, we planted about the middle of May, May 15th. Yes. And planted all 60 acres on drip and we watered pretty well non-stop through the season uh, until towards the end started cutting out a little water. We were trying to make five bales an acre on the patch and it's it came pretty close to it. The, we did a couple couple samples that we weighed and, and stuff in the field that are showing about 4.6 bales an acre, something to that sort. So really happy with what it did, really happy with, with Fibermax and Bayer and, and they do a good job for us. And we also uh, work with the local, local extension service and do uh, different variety test plots and uh, in those variety test plots we have uh, three, four, five different uh, companies representing their top seed uh, varieties and we'll plant them all at the same time and give them all the same irrigation, fertility treatments and then uh, harvest them individually and look at the yield difference and also uh, the quali quality difference and compare them and make that public to local farmers in this area and uh, next year when they're making decisions on which variety to plant uh, they can look at this information and uh, know it's a unbiased decision. Now we like working with them uh, because we get to see the newest technology especially with the root rot. Uh, it's been a problem with uh, cotton throughout uh, a lot of the Texas area and uh, it, it was uh, been a problem for over 100 years and within the past three or four years we found a chemical that uh, will control it. So that's uh, I guess one of the exciting things that's coming in the cotton country, especially from West Texas uh, through Arizona, New Mexico, and then South Texas and the Blacklands also is also affected by this. And they've kind of gone away from the cotton because uh, the yields can be uh, reduced dramatically in, in areas and they'll go to a rotation of corn or soybeans, something of that sort. So, but it's, uh, it's a new, uh, new research project that's ongoing and uh, we're really excited about seeing the results from this year's plot and uh, hopefully within uh, a year to two years uh, the chemical will be labeled to use on cotton.